did I start becoming a fan when I was watching Cliff Richard and the Shadows in early 60s? And it was because of Jet Harris, in fact, that I, he was in the, always stood in the middle. And I went, what the hell is he playing? And, you know, he's playing bass, but I went, I want one of them. And that's where it went. I just wanted to play bass. <laughs> There's it's, a lot of it's timing, but you've got to stick at it. You can't give up. It's, um, you've got to have it in there. But, you know, telling yourself you've got to make it. That's it. And it's like, boom. <laughs> so what about the band that became Sweet? How did that band come together? Um, well, I was in a band called The Army. And it was an eight-piece soul band, if you want <laughs> loosely. And um, we played with Wainwright's Gentleman on the same night, which was which had uh, Brian and Mick were in it. And we got to chatting and blah, blah, blah. And that night, Mick was fired from the band. He didn't know it, and I didn't know it then either, but he was fired, so I'd given Brian my phone number or something. And the next day he called me and said, do you want to form a four-piece band? And I went, Let's see, I'm in an eight-piece band where 25 quid doesn't go anywhere. There. Yes, four-piece sounds good. So it was me, Brian, Mick, and a fellow called Frank Torpy, who was um, one of Mick's friends, a good guitarist, actually. And that's how that started. And where do the boys of status quo come onto the radar when we all were of them? I remember, I, they probably don't like it, but I remember pictures of Matchstick <laughs> Men. And um, obviously, because it was out there. And then I just liked when they got into boogie type stuff, I really liked them. You know, they, were just, they just chugged along. Andy said to us that, he said, obviously, Quill made it before we did. He said, but we would see. He said, we'd be in this little transit van doing the clubs and they were already started doing theatres and stuff. Yeah. And we'd see them. Do you have memories of that kind of time? Oh, well, yeah. There was, you know, it's strange that, because we, we were on the scene long after they'd started. Well, after they'd started. So uh, you have to do the, the circuits to get the name around and uh, to get people to know you. So when they'd already, you know, they'd taken the next step as it were.